Hello and welcome to Van Conversions for Dummies Part 2, where we hopefully show you how easy it is to convert a camper van with zero experience. And as it turned out, it's not so straightforward after all. In this video, you'll see how easy it is to make mistakes, we have a problem, and how we overcame them. We are picking up where we left off in the previous video, where we did all of the sound deadening and the first layer of insulation on the wall panels as well as on the floor. Today we will continue with the insulation on the wall panels and what we will be using for that is this thermo fleece liner. So this is what it looks like, it's just a big fluffy roll of fleece and the reason I chose this is A, it's made from recycled plastic bottles so it's a nice recycled material but also a lot of the insulation I was looking at you have to mask up and put goggles on and everything because you have all these nasty particles floating around. This stuff you don't have to worry about that um, so that makes my job nice and easy and also you don't have to worry about cutting it all perfectly to size as it's very flexible material. So we have two thicknesses we have the normal thermo fleece thickness and the slimline um, the slimline we're going to be using for the top panels because it's much thinner um, and the thicker stuff we'll be using in these bottom panels because it's much deeper. We also have this contact adhesive, <laughs> thank you, my kind assistant. Um, so the top sections aren't going to be able to stick up here on their own. The bottom sections should kind of be able to shove in behind the wheel arches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That'll force my way into it. <laughs> I'm thinking this should be pretty straightforward. Um, from things that I've seen online already, you should be able to just tear it off. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So I guess the biggest difference between this and the other insulation is it doesn't have to fit absolutely perfectly because it's this kind of squidgy material. If you know what you're actually doing and you can see at any point we're doing anything wrong, make sure you leave it in the comments and bonus points for the more patronizing that you are because we really like those ones. And if we are making any mistakes and you leave it in the comments down below, okay, yes, it's too late for us and that we're doing it right now. <laughs> so by the time you comment, we'll have already done it. But for everyone else watching, you could be helping them out. So leave it in the comments. Okay, that was definitely the easiest layer of insulation so far. It really was as simple as it looked. You just rip it off and stick it in. So satisfying. <laughs> it comes out a bit like silly string. Do you remember silly string? It's very, very satisfying. It probably took me about an hour in total and that's like tearing everything from scratch without anything pre-cut. I will say that the thicker insulation is a little harder to tear than the thinner one, but that's understandable. But still, it's easy enough to do it just with your hands, so you don't need scissors or anything like that. Um, and the contact adhesive is super sticky, so make sure you wear gloves or your hands are going to be covered in glue and fleecy fabrics. Next up, we just need to put the ply panelling back over all of the insulation. So we're reusing the panelling that was already in our van because luckily it was still in pretty good nick. But if you need to buy new panelling because it's mouldy or rotten, you can actually buy pre-cut stuff on a bunch of websites online or you can just buy big sheets of ply and cut it all yourself. We have a problem. Another van build mistake that we've run into is not taking into account the thickness of the insulation that we put over the wheel arches. Um, so this piece of wood should all fit in flush on the floor, that's how it came out, but with the insulation it's now about a centimetre over. Okay, to fix the problem of the flooring overlap, what I've done is, the overlap's about two centimetres, so I've drawn a centimetre around each of the wheel arch plates and we're just going to cut along this line using this drill or a saw. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but my dad's going to show me how to use it. It's a jigsaw! <laughs> yeah, he almost made it sound like you know what you're talking about, but there's really a mastermind behind all this. <laughs> and it's definitely not me. For dummies, remember? So you, you need to hold this quite firmly in your knees. Okay. Or find something to sit it on. I'm gonna health and safety number one. Yes. Tuck the hair up into hair the up. beanie hat. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, well, I wonder if this bit's coming apart, or has that always been that? Bummering it, because you have to get them by hand, yeah. you know? <laughs> So the jigsaw is well and truly dead, um, meaning we have to order another one of those, which we will pick up later tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. So while we wait, we're going to actually try and overcome another problem that we had at the start of the build when we tried to fit the swivel seat. Swivel seats obviously aren't an essential part of a camper van build, but... A build... Swivel seats obviously aren't an essential part of a camper build. Having swivel seats is definitely not an essential part of a camper van. Camp Why can't I speak? Swivel seats obviously aren't an essential part of a camper van build, but we think it'll open up a lot more space inside the van and make it a bit more open plan. We wanted to have some walkthrough space to be able to get from the front to the back easily and why not put in a swivel for a bit of extra seating space. We found these seats on Gumtree. Um, they are mini seats that have already been mounted on a T4 base so that should slot straight into our van. Um, obviously check before you buy any secondhand seats that aren't already T4 seats because the holes might not line up. We haven't actually bought this as a swivel. We're gonna to have to change that ourselves. So over here we have our swivel base. Um, we bought this from Just Campers. Um, I think it was about 150 pounds. And this essentially gets sandwiched in between the base and the seat. So what we're gonna be doing today is detaching both of these things. We're gonna put the base into the van, put this on top of it, and then the seat on top of that. And fingers crossed, it'll work. Well that didn't work at all and as it turns out the swivel base doesn't fit the seats that we have. Um, we've actually since checked and on the sticker of the swivel base it actually says it's for a 96 model of T4 and we have a 2003 model so that will be why it doesn't work. They actually sent us the wrong one so instead of slowing everything down we're actually going to try and alter the base that we already have in order to fit our seats. I would like to add that I couldn't have done this myself. <laughs> I've had to borrow my dad's brain to figure it all out. This is our prototype. So essentially we are going to attach this to the swivel base with some extra holes in the right position to actually fit the seat. We're obviously not doing it with wood because it's not strong enough. We've got some mild steel bar, mild steel bar. <laughs> and my dad's very kindly already drilled a pilot hole in there for me. So I just need to drill some more holes like this and then we can attach it to the swivel base. I did it! And look at that! I'm so proud. That's what kids used to do at school. Not anymore! <laughs> so now that the swivel seat's on the base, we just need to lift up the swivel contraption turn it so we can see all of these little grooves in here and attach this to the base that's already in the van okay now chuck it in <laughs> It's so tight now, you can't get the spanner out. <laughs> cool. It seems to have worked, it's all been screwed in. We're just tightening up all the nuts and bolts. Um, and then it's time for the final test. Will it actually swivel? <laughs> you know it's not gonna. It's a little bit higher than the driver's seat as well, isn't it? It's just gonna be an expensive booster seat. Yeah. <laughs> Moment of truth. Yes! We did it! Nice one! It's actually difficult to explain how satisfying and rewarding it is to have like a problem come up like the swivel seat and then to just overcome it and fix it and have something that actually works that I know is going to be such an amazing thing in our van in the future. I could not be happier right now, I'm buzzing. I have my new saw and I'm not afraid to use it. Hopefully this one won't break on me like the last one did and I can actually get this part of the build finally done and finished. And fingers crossed it all goes to plan. Now as 
a moment of truth. Will it fit around the wheel arch? Let's see. <gasps> it fits. <sighs> we did it. That is very satisfying. <laughs> I did not expect putting the floor back in and screwing it in was going to be that much of a pain in the ass. I actually, in the end, roped my dad into helping me because we actually had to drill some holes back into the floor because a lot of them weren't lining up and that is way above my pay grade. <laughs> I'm really happy with the progress on the van so far and I'm really happy that my dad is on hand to lend us any kind of advice and support. I am definitely not too good to ask for help when it is needed and it's definitely <laughs> needed in my case. The main reason we wanted to get all of the ply put in today is because tomorrow we're taking the van to go and get a pop top installed which I cannot wait for, I'm so excited and it's going to be so nice to be able to work in the van whilst stood up as well because my back is not thanking me right now. And then once the pop top's in we're going to just really push on with all of this, we're going to clad it all up and start to make it actually feel like a little home. So thank you guys so much for watching, if you liked the video or you found it helpful give it a big fat like, don't forget to leave in the comments all the mistakes I made and how I could have done it better so that other people can make a better job than I did and don't forget to subscribe and beans out! <laughs>